In this video, I'm going to show you how to make curvy text in Photoshop. Let's go! So before we get started, if you're looking for more tips, tricks, hacks, tutorials and other design inspiration videos, then make sure you subscribe to this YouTube channel and also don't forget to hit that notification bell to get notified every time that I post a new video. So I'm going to show you how to create curved text in Photoshop and I'm using Photoshop 2021, but this does work in previous versions and this is a really easy way to add some extra spice to your designs. So the first thing I've done here is got my artboard set up and this is 3840 by 4800. This is the preset that I use on my Instagram for every single design that I make and it makes your designs super crispy because it's a big, big file. So give that a try, uh, but you can use this on any size uh, artboard, it really doesn't matter. So just try with whatever preset you're used to using. So the first thing we're gonna do is add a circle, not a text layer. So we're gonna go down to the ellipse tool here and we're just gonna hold the shift key and drag out onto this artboard like so. The shift key keeps the proportions constrained so that it doesn't mess up and become an oval or a pill shape or anything like that, it just becomes a circle. So what we're gonna do now is gonna hit T on the keyboard and that brings up our type tool. Now what we're gonna do is hover the, the type cursor over onto the very edge of the shape and you'll see it changes from like a selection box to this little dotted line. So you're gonna go ahead and click on that and that brings up our font. So we're just gonna give our, uh, put a font in. I'm gonna go with new has and make that black and then make sure the color is black as well so we can see what we're doing. So I'm gonna make that 400 and then we're just gonna call this, this is a test, like so. So now that text is on there, what we can go ahead and do is hide the circle. So now that text is curved. So what you can do now, if you need to, is you need to adjust it. Say you want the text to be on the side of the circle or you want it to be underneath. What we can do is go ahead and click on the direct selection tool here. This is white cursor. We can go over to the text tool and we can drag round and we can get it to be upside down or we can get it to be uh, on the top here like this or just adjust it slightly. And then if you want it on the inside of the circle, all you need to do is just hold onto that and then drag inwards and it will flip it to the inside of the circle as well. But for the sake of this tutorial, we're gonna keep it as it was at the very top. So now we've got curved text as you would normally expect. This is what a lot of people use and I love using this as well in my designs. But what if you want a custom shape and you still wanna put text around that? Well, that's possible in Photoshop too. So what we're gonna do is we've got, a, we've got that same circle here. You can just put your own new shape in if you need to. It doesn't need to be this, the circle you used before. But we've got that circle here. So I'm just gonna readjust that I'm gonna create some kind of odd shape that we can use. So I'm gonna take two circles like so, like that, and then do another one like this. So it's kind of like this cloud shape. And then we're gonna select all three uh, shapes here, go to layer, and then go down to combine shapes, and then unite shapes. So now that's one shape layer. So we're just gonna center that, make that a bit bigger like so. And now what we can do is the same as before. So we hit T on the keyboard, we go up to the top of that where it shows that little dotted line. And now our text fits around this unique shape. You can do this for any shape in Photoshop, whether that's a triangle, whether that's like a pill shape or an arch, you can do it for anything and you can get some really cool effects. Uh, so we can do like head in the clouds. And you may need to do some adjustments on the spacing, uh, which you can just do using the, the characters here. But you can get some really cool effects going just with that shape tool. So now that kind of looks like it's a cloud shape. So there is tons and tons of stuff you can do with this. But I'm also gonna show you one more easy way to uh, transform and edit text uh, using a specific tool that you may not have seen before. So we're gonna come back and all we're gonna do is type out in a straight line, this is a test, okay? Just like this. Then if you hit Command T on the keyboard while you've got that layer selected, it's gonna bring up this little feature here. This is called the um, warp settings. And so we bring up the warp tool and now what we can start to do is affect the text however we want. So there's like a few presets here and I normally use a few of these. So uh, a good one to use is Arch and that gets us a similar effect to the curved text tool, uh, but it's more of like a, a banner style 
So that's a good one to use. I normally use that on like 10 or 20. And that's a really quick way of just doing things. You can use a flag. That's quite a fun one. If you want to get like wavy text, like summer vibes, that kind of thing, that's a good one. You can use rise. Uh, that's a good one as well. If you wanted to like just have a, a something that's in motion, that's a cool thing to do as well. You can adjust it by changing which way it affects it, which direction, whether it's latitude or longitudinal. You can do like fish eyes. There's a ton of stuff you can do in here. And this is a really useful uh, tool to keep in your armory. So like this, there's lots of cool text effects you can do. And I use these a lot. So you can do like an arc as well uh, and, and an arch like that. So there's lots of cool things you can play around with, but those are just some things that you can use to curve your text in Photoshop. So there you have it, a really quick and easy way to curve your text in Photoshop. Now I know you guys like the tutorials to be short and sweet, so that's what I'm trying to do here. But let me encourage you to create something using this style, using this technique. Tag me on Instagram and I'd love to see what you create. If you've enjoyed this video, then make sure you leave a like. It really does go a long way to helping this channel and consider subscribing for plenty more videos like this to come. As always, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you again soon.